Well, tomorrow is primary day across Mississippi. Cities and towns are holding their elections. And in Jackson, the big race is for mayor. Yeah, 12 News Tao Ta shows us who's on the ballot. Tao? Well, in all, there are seven people looking to unseat Mayor Shokwin Tarlamamba. Several will be on the ballot tomorrow in the Democratic and Republican primaries. But on the Republican side, Ponzo Downing, who is a product of Jackson. Now, he and Jason Wells are battling for the Republican nomination. The Democratic race features Kenneth Wilson. He spent 10 years as a Jackson firefighter and an educator at local schools and longtime Jacksonian Patty Patterson. They're all facing the incumbent Mayor Shokwin and Tarlamamba, seeking a second term. Lamamba has been the face of critics who say he hasn't done enough to reduce Jackson crime. If given the opportunity, Lamamba says he hopes to continue serving Jacksonians, and that starts with backing the blue. We're going to continue to make the investments uh, that we think are necessary. Investments like bringing on more recruits, having our sixth recruit class just uh, a, a weekend ago uh, to be launched. We're going to continue to bring in 24th century tools that help uh, provide uh, su uh, support systems for our officers, such as our real-time command center, which gives them an eye in the sky and gives them more expansive coverage across the city. I'm mad to get out there and beat the streets and talk to the people who've been affected by the crime. The mayor we have now does not do nothing of that. I want to be your friend. Politics, I'm not into it for politics. I'm not into it for a bank account. I'm into it for a change. When I grow, the city going to grow. Now, the polls will be open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Tuesday. Tomorrow, Downing says, come next year. He's running for Congress. Now, we reached out to Patty Patterson, a Democrat candidate for Jackson Mayor, and did not hear back. Now, there are also three independents, Charlotte Reeds, Shafika Big Mama Lodre, and Les Tannehill. They'll be on the ballot in the general election June 8th.